Good day everyone. Thank you for joining me in this video. Um, th today I'm just uh, playing with the Lares Fluoro set again. I just got inspired by the little flowers that I made in my previous video, my previous piece. And these flowers, I'll tell you straight away, didn't turn out as great as those other ones did. But I, um, of course, decided to improvise and um, turn them into a more realistic looking flower. As the other uh, flowers look like a bit like tulips that were kind of a bit abstract. And if you haven't seen that video, go back and have a look at the video before this one. But I just love using these fluoros. I mean, even on their own, like when you, when you light up the uh, black light on them, they really come to life and they really look fluorescent, amazing. Um, but I even love them just like this because they're such bright colours and really funky and a bit um, jazzy, you know, I don't know. So I'm, as you can see, I'm just mucking around with the light. So I'm just um, layer, layering, well, I'm not really layering, just um, pouring the colors one after the other and then separating them with that white now that the white is doing a couple of things it's the angel white um i don't want it here for cells or anything like that it's it just needs to uh separate those colors from each other and to stop them from blending into into each other and it does a really really good job because it's it's the angel white is quite a uh, an opaque paste and uh, it will sort of hold its 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 own against these um, trans translucent pastes which these pastes up they're translucent so the top part is meant to represent uh, a bit of a sunset like an Aussie sunset you can still see a bit of blue sky and then you get a bit of orange and, and yellow and, you know, just um, a bit of a representation of that. And the bottom part with the purple and the pink, that's supposed to uh, create an illusion of like a field of flowers. And I will, um, you know, add things to it uh, later on. So just adding whatever I had left over now um, in, in those cups, I'm adding some more paste there to use them up. So I'm going with a white as, as a base. Um, and then just um, pouring one over the top of the other, really. So I'm not going, um, I'm not going transparent, transparent, I'm going transparent, opaque, which is a white, and then transparent again. Otherwise, all those colors will bleed into each other and create nothing, really. Just a blob. So we need that white, we need that opaque to help. Um, so I think at this stage, I'm thinking I should have really not worried about putting that blue in that strip underneath these flowers because it's uh it's it's stopping the the these circles which are meant to be circles is stopping them from being round you know um because they they will just spread up until the edge of that blue and then that's it so i should have either poured the whole thing in blue and then started layering the whites and the transparents or just left it and then done it after when the flowers kind of develop. So that's one thing that I learned not to do. So I'll know that next time. And now just spreading those. So you can already see that those flowers are kind of looking squarish. I, I get to fix that later on and you will see that shortly. But you know what? This was such a fun project. Really, really fun fun project I, I really enjoyed it 
and it was so easy and I felt like it was allowing me to be creative and not to just pour and and use the well, actually I haven't even used the the heat gun at all on here I've used a torch pretty much just to help the movement a little bit and to um, and to you know get rid of those bubbles so the resin that I've used here is platinum art coat it is a thicker resin and I like it for, for this um, sort of art because you can you don't have to worry about getting too much wastage it's not going to spill over the sides and I actually didn't have any spills the only spills I have is where you can see that white but I purposely did that so that I start I don't start um, layering that white on the actual piece and create a blob I, I do it a little bit out of the the, the, um, the board and then over it sort of thing and you can see that blue up top how the, the white's already moved a little bit um, and creating like a wave and then you can see all the cells and everything underneath which is pretty cool so yeah just um trying to create these stem looking things just to of course like give you an indication that that is meant to be a flower even though it's square <laughs> Oh dear, a bit of torching, which immediately, immediately starts working with that white. It's unbelievable. A bit of tilting going on. So just adding some more white, just trying to correct the shape of the these flowers. They're meant to be flowers. Resin is just so amazing. It is such an amazing. You can, you you can't recreate a, the same thing. You know, never. You you just can't do it. So that's what makes it really marvelous. I'm adding a little bit more of that orange color because it was disappearing in that white a bit. Yeah, blowing, blowing inside the flowers to help them open up a bit more. And I, here I'm showing you, I did this off camera only because I, I forgot to turn the camera back on. I just used that tool that I've got in there, silicon tool, to just pull in the petals. See, just like that. That's all I did with that one. And now they're starting to look a little bit more like flowers. And here what I have is just the little drips and, and sort of strips of resin that fell from the previous um, painting and I just rolled them a little bit, shaped them in between my finger and thumb and turned them into these little buttons, cute little buttons. So I'm just going to pop them inside and give, give the painting a little bit of character and texture and um, a bit of a, you know, like a... a um, an indication that this is actually a flower and I did put those swirls in the blue as you can see so what I did there is just um, I nicked a little bit of um, color from the, the, the paint below and then just kind of did the swirls in the blue and then I went back into the, the pink and the purple and did the swirl there as well so I kind of just went from one to the other um, because I had no I didn't have any more resin left so I just used what I had on the board and it worked out well this gives you an illusion that it is a field of flowers and there's flowers in the background you know and it's popping in those little shapes here and there because I would really like to encourage everyone to be a little bit creative with with your resin. Like use a resin that is not okay, not 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 a real quick setting resin. Here's a little interesting little piece. When I was making those little buttons and swirls and things, those kind of gathered together and stuck together and made it look like a bird with a really really long neck. Um, so I decided to just pop it in, pop it in there. Just looked like it belonged there. Has the same colors 
and uh, real happy with that. Well, 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 here we are. She's ready. Look at those wave effects. I must do a piece just like an ocean piece and try to recreate, try to use this technique and just recreate these waves without using the the heat gun. There's a lot. Yeah, look at that. Let's get the black light on there. Ooh. -hoo. Look at that. How cool is that? Just comes to life, doesn't it? So look at those waves. Oh, you can see them better now. Mmm. Let me know what you think. I think I'm gonna put the the fluoros away for it for the minute. <laughs> I've done enough, I think, for now. But they are so beautiful and bright. And you know, they don't need to be used as fluoros. They can be used just like as really, really bright colours. Look at these like lovely buttons. Just from the leftover resin that I kind of curled in, in my fingers, in between my fingers. And <clears throat> This one here, like a little pot. I'll put some crushed silver in there, silver glass. Alrighty. Yeah, let me know what you think. I, I really like this one. So I'm going to pop this one in the shop to hopefully sell. It won't be it won't be too expensive. I just need to make more room, as I always say. Oh, hang on a minute. This little fella looks like a... It just... It was one of the, the drips that kind of stuck together. See, like these little things that kind of stuck together. And it looks like a bit of a bird with a really, really long neck. I decided to pop it there. I think it looks cute there. What do you think? See that? Looks like a wing. and Yeah. Interesting things you can make out of this little drips that you get all right that's enough for me from me bye for now